My name is Cheryl, and I'm part of the Global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple, and empower the next generation. Hearing God's Word is the first step to grasping God's Word. Since children will be dependent on a parent or their teacher for much of the hearing that they do, we as teachers and parents need to learn to be good storytellers. So I want you to watch as I demonstrate some storytelling techniques to help you share Bible stories in an impactful way with your children. I'm going to be telling the story of Jesus calming the storm that you find in Mark chapter 4. Um, uh, I think, well, yeah, they got in the boat. No, no, they were, they were with the crowds, but then, but, uh, no. Yeah, Jesus said, let's go to the other, other side of the lake. Uh, so they, they got in the boat and they started going to the other side of the lake. And, um, and then a storm came up and, um, uh, and then the disciples woke Jesus up. And, no, no, because Jesus was sleeping. Yeah, Jesus was sleeping. So they woke him up and said, Master, don't you care? We're going to drown. And Jesus got up and he rebuked the wind and the waves and said, be still. And this stopped. And he said, why were you afraid? And they were amazed. How did you like my story? Well, I'm sure if you think about it, I did absolutely everything wrong. I was not a good storyteller at all. I didn't know my story, first of all. I was unsure of what was going on. I didn't look at you. I had no expression in my face, in my voice at all. I spoke softly. I spoke monotone. I didn't even use any kind of gestures. And so all of these things made it a really bad story. Good storytellers should do the following things. First, know the story well. Know what you're going to be saying, even if you're reading it. Second, use eye contact. Be looking at your audience. Third, use facial expressions, especially for the emotions of the story. Fourth, use gestures or hand or body movements to involve all of yourself into the story. You should also use your voice. Think about different pitches, high or low or loud or soft, or the speeds, fast or slow, while you're speaking. A good storyteller also isn't afraid of silence because sometimes pausing can be a really powerful way to teach what you're trying to say. And you can even involve children with call answer phrases or using actions. Good storytellers use all of these skills. So I'm going to tell you the same Bible story that I did before, but this time I'm going to use all of the skills. Have you ever been afraid? Well, there's a story in the Bible that talks about Jesus' friends being afraid, even though Jesus was with them. One day, at the end of a day of ministry, Jesus said to his friends, his disciples, come on, let's go over to the other side of the lake. And so they left the crowds behind, and they took Jesus just the way he was in the boat. And there were even other boats there. As they were going across the lake, a furious storm came up and the wind began to blow and the waves began to get higher and higher and higher so that they were filling the boat and the boat was beginning to sink. But Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat on a cushion. Well, the disciples went to Jesus. They were so afraid. They woke him up and they said, Jesus, master, teacher, don't you care? We're going to drown. And Jesus got up and he saw the wind and the waves and he rebuked the wind and he said to the waves, peace, be still. And the wind stopped and the waves grew calm. And Jesus turned to his disciples and he said, where was your faith? Why were you so afraid? And the disciples were amazed and they said to each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. You see, they didn't need to be afraid. And Jesus is with us as well. Well, you see, storytelling is a skill. And by practicing all of the things that we've talked about, you can become a good storyteller too. Thanks for joining me. For more resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, go to our website, 
www.1for50today.net.